Greetings everyone. You are welcome in this session. In this session, we will talk about stacks in C++, especially stack as a linked list. Linked list implementation of stack uses a linked list to store data and a pointer top pointing to the topmost position of the stack. The two things are required in the array implementation of stack. We were using array and the uh, variable top, but in linked list implementation, we will use linked list and a pointer top. Now, each node of a stack as a linked list has two parts, data part and the link part. Now, in this image, you can see this is a memory depiction of a linked list. It is a collection of nodes and the address of first node is stored in a, a pointer top. Now, each node of a stack has two parts, data part and the link part. Data part contains the information and the link part contains the address of the next node. So, this is the memory depiction of a linked list. Now, the node of a stack as a linked list is created with the help of self-referential structures. So, we use self-referential structure to create each node and then they are linked together to form a stack. Now, let us see a program in C++ to illustrate operations on stack as a linked list. Now, in the beginning of the program, I have included two header files, iostream.h and conio.h. Now, we will create a self-referential structure. In a self-referential structure, there are two things, the data part and the pointer part. We can see this is a structure node and it has three data members, roll number, can name and float total. And then there is a pointer and the type of the pointer is a uh, type of the structure itself. You can see the structure is of type node and the pointer next is also of type node. So this structure is called a self-referential structure. Now I'm creating a class tag and I'm creating a pointer top which is of type node. So node is a name of this structure and I'm creating a pointer of this node type only because top is going to contain the address of node. So, the uh, type of node is also node type. Type of top is also node type. Now, in the public section of the class, I am including a constructor which is initializing top to the value null and then there are three functions push, pop and display. Now, in the push function, I am creating a temporary variable which is of node type and Again, this is a new operator to pre-assign a memory of node type and the address of this memory location is then stored in temp. Then I am filling the data in this temporary node. Uh, I am saying uh, I am inputting temp arrow role and temp arrow name and temp arrow total. This is how the whatever I am inputting that will be stored in the data part of temp. And then I am uh, assigning temp arrow next the value top and top is assigned the value of temp. We will understand this function, these functions with the help of a diagram. Now in the pop function, we are checking if top is not equal to null, only then an element can be popped from the stack. Otherwise, we will write the stack is empty and it will result in stack overflow. So if top is not equal to null, uh, the, top, uh, the value of top is assigned to a temporary variable temp and top is assigned the address of next node. And we are also displaying the data which we are going to delete using this statement. And then at the end, it is very necessary to delete temp. Because temp is created using the new operator, it will not be deleted on its own. It is necessary to use a delete operator to deallocate the memory allocated to temp. Now in the display function, again I am storing the address of top in a temporary variable. And I'm using a while loop while temp not equal to null. I'm displaying the information and see the pointer information is stored with the help of this, uh, uh, this uh, symbol. And uh, uh, then I'm incrementing temp and I'm storing the next address in temp using the statement temp is equal to temp arrow next. Now in main, I'm creating an object of class tag. Then there is a uh, variable ch. Now uh, a do while loop is used. Uh, and uh, menu is displayed to perform push, pop, display or quit operation on the stack. We input the choice from the user 
and depending upon the choice if the choice is push then push function is called if the choice is uh, pop then the pop function is called and if the choice is display then the display function is called and if the user enters q then the, uh, the then this loop will be exited and also the program will terminate so let us understand the memory depiction of this diagram to make it more clear now let us first uh, once again understand the struct node structure this is a self referential structure and these are special structures which contains pointers to themselves so this structure contains uh, the uh, members as role which is of type int name of type char20 and total of type float and then there is a pointer next you can see this is a pointer because it has star symbol before it and the type of the pointer is the type of the structure itself here the type of the structure is node and type of the pointer is also node so this is a self referential structure and self referential structures are used to create linked list now this is my class tag in the class tag i am creating a pointer top which will uh, point to the top of the stack and again the type of the top will be node again uh, because it is going to store the address of node and then there is a constructor function and in which i am initializing top by the value null and then there are three more functions push pop and display now let us understand the po uh, push operation in detail now in push operation initially i am declaring a pointer of type node node star temp this uh, statement will declare a pointer of type node and then using a new operator i am creating a new node and the type of the uh, new node is node type and the address of this will be stored in temp address of new node will be stored in temp then using these lines i am trying to uh, store uh, the uh, data in the uh, data field of the temporary node role number name and total on next in the next field of this temporary node i am storing the address of top the uh, address stored in top gets stored in the near next of the newly created node and top contains the address of newly created node so let us see how this actually works so if we look at the illustrations initially the value of top is null now using this statement top star temp temp is equal to new node i am creating a new node you can see this is the type of a node in which there are three parts one for storing row number other for storing name and this is for storing total and this red portion indicates the address part in this part i can store the address and the value of the the beginning address of this node is stored in the temporary variable temp and you can see the address is 100 in this case the address at the uh, uh, at which this node is created is 100 the next we have to input data there were statements to input data so i am inputting the data you can see here this is the data which i have inputted and then the next statement is temp arrow next is equal to top we have seen top was null in the beginning so null is stored at the uh, next part of this node and the next statement is top is equal to temp so now the top will contain the address of this node and the address of this node is 100 so you can see the a new node has been created the data has been filled in this node and at the end of this node in the next part of this node null has been stored and top contains 100 which is the address beginning address of this node now the to uh, top has become 100 uh, i am again creating a new node and uh, again the same procedure happens a new node is created this is an empty node and the address of this node is stored in temp suppose the address is 200 the beginning address of this node is 200 this is stored in temp now i am entering data in this node i am storing the data using the scene statement i am storing all the data in this node the next step is temp arrow next is equal to top now in the next part of this node i am storing the address which is stored in top so you have seen the address stored in top is 100 so 100 will be stored here and the next statement is top is equal to temp so it means top will now uh, contain the address of newly created node and the address of newly created node is 200 so you can see the depiction of uh, my stack now now the the node which was created first is at the end and the node which is recently created has come in the beginning of the stack and you can see top contains 200 which is the address of newly created node and this newly created node contains 100 which is the address of the first node now my top is 200 you can see 
and I am again creating a new node using these statements node start temp and temp is equal to new node. Now I am entering data. You can see uh, the address of this new node is 300 and whatever data I will enter this will be stored here. Now when I say temp arrow next equal to top, the address of top will be stored in the next part of this uh, temporary node. The address of top is 200. So this will be stored here. Now the next part is top is equal to temp. Now top will contain the address of newly created node which is 300. So you can see the memory depiction now. Now top contains 300 which is the address of newly created node. This is my newly created node. And this node contains the address of the of this node. The second node. So uh, this is uh, the address of second node is 200 which is stored in the newly created node. And the second node contains the address of first node. And the first node contains null which indicates that my linked list has ended here. So this is how the linked list is created uh, and my stack is created as a linked list. And uh, so the uh, at the end of the creation of this linked list, the value of top is 300. So we can perform as many uh, push operations as we want and the, uh, they, they will be performed in the same manner. The newly created node is always added to the beginning of the stack and top will contain the address of newly created node. Now let us see the pop, pop operation in detail. Now in the pop operation we will check if, whether top is null or not because if top is null it means the stack is empty and we cannot delete any node from the uh, stack which is empty. So if top is not null we will store the address of top in a temporary variable temp and then temp is again of type node itself and uh, we will point top to the next node. Now uh, top will contain the address of next node because the top, uh, the current node to which the top is pointing is going to be deleted from the stack. So we will first display the information which we are going to delete from the stack and then we will use the delete operator to delete the uh, address which is stored in temp and which is the store which is the address of the very first node of the stack. So you can see here delete is very important. I have already told you if a node has been created using the new operator, it is very important to delete it using the delete operator. So let us see pictorially how it works. So if you see here, my top is 300. Uh, earlier you see you saw that it was 300 and we inserted three nodes in the stack. Now my top is 300. When I say the statement node star temp is equal to top, temp will also contain the address of Top. Temp will also contain the address which is stored in top. The address of both temp and top is now 300 and both temp and top are uh, pointing to the first node of the stack. Now when I say top is equal to top arrow next, it means in the next part of this top, top is pointing to the first node and the next of the first node contains the address 200. So when I say top is equal to top arrow next, top will contain the address 200. Uh, now top is no longer pointing to the first node, it is pointing to the second node. So now top contains the address of second node and second node contains the address of first node. You can see like this. And temp is, or, uh, temp is currently pointing to this node. Top, has, uh, top is now pointing to this node but temp is pointing to this, to the very first node of the stack. So the data is displayed, the data is 3, Nitin and 480 as you can see here. Now uh, the, when we delete temp, this node is deleted from the memory also. The memory allocated to this node will also be deallocated. Now my temp is 200. When I again say node star temp is equal to top, both temp and top will contain the address of first node which is 200. Now you can see both the temp and top are pointers which are pointing to the very first node of the stack. Now when I say top is equal to top arrow next, in this case, now top, uh, the value of top arrow next you can see here is 100. So top will no longer contain 200, it will contain 100 now. You can see here top contains 100, so it is pointing to the node which has the address, beginning address 100. This is the last node of the stack. But temp is still pointing to the to this node and it as it contains the address 200. So when we say uh, delete temp, this node will be deleted from the memory. And the, before deleting, the data is displayed like this. Now the current uh, address of uh, address stored in top is 100. Now if I again say the statement node star temp is equal to top, 
both top and temp contains the value 100. They contains the address 100. They are pointing to the <coughs> last node of the stack. And uh, uh, when I say top is equal to <coughs> top arrow next, uh, top will contain null. <coughs> and uh, you can see here top contains null because uh, <coughs> next uh, null is stored in the next of the top. So the address of this node is uh, displayed 1, Ankit and 450 and the address stored in top is null and my stack is empty now. Uh, so this is all for this video and if you like this video kindly give thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.